Oh, by the way, Chad, I got this. I got the busted shit. What the fuck? Here we go. Um, so I did do a little bit. I did do a little bit of, uh, of grinding. You might notice that I got the thing that sets my HP limit up and also sets my damage limit up. So this is just stuff that you do like, kind of like, it just takes a bunch of time. Um, I got the element blade right now too. So it breaks the 999 damage cap. I was currently leveling up iron fist up here. Yeah, you can't see it because my face. Um, but I didn't- I didn't play a ton offline. I played like for maybe two hours of just offline, um, uh, no problem guys. Thank you. I'm, I'm just happy that this shit exists, uh, for Marvel that, that is. Uh, Electrocute was super good. Wall and Kiraga. I- I got Kiraga up a little bit more. Um, I have to- I've been leveling up these just in case. I'm only level 41. I'm not that crazy. 111 AFK grinding? Definitely not. I don't even know what that is. AFK grinding, really. Um, we got all the Materia Hunter missions done. Cave of Wonders stuff I can still go through, I think. SP Turbo? I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh, for DM, DMW? Really? I'm not even too sure what you would... What, what, what's that? Just to get DMWs... For like an achievement? Oh, like Moogle DMW farming. Yeah, I actually switched from Aerial Drain to, uh... Uh, High Jump as well. So now we had Aerial Drain was maxed out. Mastered, right? And, uh, High Jump Mastered, this does crazy fucking damage. Wutai Secret Shop? I did it, I did get that too. Did I try to fight Bahamut Fury again? Yeah, it was super easy. Uh, it was dumb, it was dummy easy. Once I had, like, damage caps increased and shit. Yeah, I tried to fight Bahamut again. Uh, I think it was... It was one of these, right? Where you get, like, the second Bahamut. Let's finish off this. Yeah, is dual cast found or crafted? Oh, I gotta move my Zeo nut. Cam for slots. True King, thank you. Fat Chocobo Feather, I need those. Those are great for HP buffs. There's the challenge of these level eights. Oh, dual cast is from a shop? Oh, so what, what mission do we have to do to duel the, the shop? Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. That's right. This mission. I couldn't beat this guy. Um, I actually could not beat this guy before. That's why this mission was undone. Um. Activating combat mode. Okay, well, this is working out pretty well. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. Fuck! I got him down halfway through. You have to survive his ability or break it. Yeah, that's why this guy was um crazy tough. Yeah, he he was he was really hard because he eventually does like this thing that just kills you. Try it again. Activating combat mode.
Getting lucky on no MP cost. Oh my god. Thirty-three thousand damage. Oh my god. Thirty-three thousand damage. Uh, energy. I think energy is better than electrocute. You can actually dodge Ultima. Fuck. Let's try this again. Activating combat mode. Oh no, this is a... Uh... Oh, I can't go... Okay, okay, yeah, it's blockable. Uh, energy does so little damage. Right? You know what's good? Yeah, hold on a second. Review equipment and try again. I'm gonna put on... Uh, high jump. Electrocute just does so much more damage. Activating combat mode. Well, that's easy. That works for me. You can do Oh my god, I don't have any fucking ethers. Bye now. How about this? Wow. Here we go. I'm taking you down again. Oh no, you don't. Whoa! Oh shit. I'm scared. Did I really have, like, null magic or some shit on? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Plot armor kicked in? Wow. Wow. What was that blue shit I just got? SP turbo? Increase attack impending by X... SP? I think I have a lot of SP, bro. Yeah, I got 259,000 of this shit. It takes a shit ton of SP. Oh, okay. All right. It's a good thing I got electrocute. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. It's a good fucking thing. Oh my God, that's bad. That's very bad. Okay, this seems like it's gonna be a pain. Activating combat mode. my ass all right there we go got a level out of it too jesus christ just had to get a little lucky keeps barrier wow 
seems very good. Auto wall seems very good. Black cowl. I don't know if I have that yet. Whoa, that's an AP boost. Oh shit. That's AP limit. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, he's turning. He's turning. Doesn't want to lose. Christ, man. I got a shop. Yay. Okay. Uh, escort guard. Nold's damage. Wow. This one's even better. Fucking wizard bracelet, dude. Um... Sniper Eye, why does this seem amazing to me? Right? Keep critical status active? You just always crit? Yes? What? It really is? Dang. I'm gonna need uh, more uh, accessory slots. Whoa, dual cast. What the fuck? Dual cast? Is it a blue? Is it a purple? It is a purple. Equips, enables equip magic to be cast twice in succession. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. I should be doing MP up on dual cast, right? Those are goddamn Kaiser Knuckles. Oh, they're attack plus 30. Wow. That's fucked up. That's like fucked up. That's too much. I'll take it. Just give me infinite MP. Jesus. Infinite MP. I don't, need, I don't even need to worry about MP plus things anymore. They're like not even a problem. Just magic up now. Right, MP is a useless stat now. That's hilarious. There's an accessory that makes MP a useless stat. Holy shit. Yeah, materia in this game is fucking broken, dude. Black cowl is what I had. Boosts HP, attack, and vit. Decreases MP, magic, and spirit. Oh my god! What the fuck, dude? So if you wanted to go absolutely balls to the... Stop six... So you just become special move man. What the hell, dude? These are crazy! A hundred? I'm gonna do so much fucking damage, it'll be insane. Literally have warrior build. Okay, I'm gonna make a build for that. I'm really curious. It fucks your magic. Right, I get it, but if you just put it all on everything else, and buff out everything else... It's just you. Oh, this guy's gonna be no problem. Oh no! <laughs> Until I get hit. Dude, MP cost is zero. Wow, dude, this is fucking... Dude, 
dude, I feel like I'm a god now. I don't even, like, it's funny, it's like the gameplay, here's the thing, the gameplay actually gets worse later in the game, if you do this shit. The gameplay actually gets worse. Like, it feels like I just activated, like, Game Shark cheats. Doubles gill dropped by enemy, that's a funny ass. I mean, I mean, granted, it's like I actually enjoyed using a variety of tools to tackle each enemy and do all this stuff. Now it's like, fuck that. You'd rather just slam jam all this shit into attack, slam jam all this shit over there. Okay, somebody said this murderous thrust. What the fuck is that? Activating combat mode. He's fucking huge! I was about to die. That was a huge, terrifying Tonberry. Magic Master. That sounds fucked up. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna become a god, dude. I'm a fucking god. I'm a fucking god. It's fucked up. Let's just see how trivial this makes the rest of the game. How trivial does this make the rest of the fucking game? I have to build a magic class and I have to build a, um, uh, a an attack class just so I can feel some fucking variety. I should just put both of them on at the same time. That's what I should do. I have no AP. Couldn't even do things if I wanted to. Doesn't matter because I can just do this shit. My god. I can't even do the stance. Sword is just fucking decorative at this point. You know? This is I feel like you want to turn your brain off. I'm turning my brain off. You don't need Soul of Thymasa anymore? What? Oh my god! I don't! What the fuck? This is so fucked. <laughs> so beyond fucked. Holy shit ass. This is fucked up, dude. This is fucked. This is why you don't need the 999 HP limit gear. Yeah, because you just kill everything before they fucking touch you. That's pretty much it. Wow, the hit's done, bro. <laughs> Holy mother of God. So yeah, we're definitely going to make another class. Um, we're going to make another class that is, that is like attack based, right? Maybe one that's like a, a balance. So let's really go ham on this shit. If we did magic plus 38, right? We're almost maxed out on fucking magic here. My stop blade has 60 attack on it. Did it really? How the fuck did that happen? Okay, so let's just go in here and see what an attack... an attack run... feels like. It definitely is fascinating seeing like how insanely OP you can get, you know? It is fascinating, right? Just how fucking busted you can become. Makes you wonder how Zack died. Here we go. 
Well, that's fucked. Taking you down a peg. Heads up. Oh, still can't get hit, right? Still can't get hit. Literally max fucking damage. It's like, ultimately, it leads to the same, the same issue, you know? The issue being that you're so fucking OP, you just pretty much spam this one thing. There's very little reason, you know, to do anything else. I find it funny that, like, we were having trouble doing damage, like, not even, like, a few hours ago, right? Like, just figuring out how to do damage. Now I'm just insanely fucking overpowered. Like, in, in, in quite literally the, the blink of an eye, I'm insanely overpowered. Like, one or two missions, everything, you're just fucking, you're a god. You just figure out a little bit of strategy for some of these, some of these fights, and now suddenly I'm a fucking god. Uh-oh. I think these guys, no, these, these guys resist? What the fuck? Nine, 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 nine. Nine. Well, I guess I'm just fucking dead. You down head. Is this even worth doing, this airstrike? Does this even do that much damage? I think the DMWs actually do like shit damage now, right? Yeah, they do. Even and most of my DMW shit is garbage now. Because I'm just shitting out damage. Fifty K is now garbage. Yes, no shit. Fifty K is now garbage. Octa slash with assault rush do godly damage with max attack. Oh, I can see that. Docs code. That's gonna be something fucking wild. Automatically uses potion when HP is critically low. Oh, that's fucking stupid. What? Does it act like a like a guts? That seems pretty shitty. If it, especially if it triggers the animation. What the hell? Combat mode. How about this? This'll do. Well, they're fucking dead. Your proficiency went from 9% to 20% after killing movers with darkness? Zach's proficiency with the Buster Sword has improved, and now when an attacker ability is used while in battle stance, the damage limit. A damage limit break effect is activated. This will allow Zach to deal more than... Are you telling me that I don't... Wait, fucking what? Are you telling me I don't need Brutal anymore? Oh my god, dude. What is happening? What is happening to this game? What is happening to this game? Only if you use the stance. But when am I not using the stance? I'll need it for magic, yeah. But for this, I don't need it. It goes perfectly with this build. So what the fuck would I even do here now? Activating combat mode. Heads up! Break that! Taking you down a bit. How about this? Taking you down a bit. Break that! Here we go. Damn, smack! Fuck, I smacked the guy for eight grand. Holy shit. Precious watch, jeweled ring. Apocalypse! The Genji helm? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Now I need money. The fuck is that, dude? No, no MP or AP? And you get free leap? What the fuck, man? Is luck for drops or is luck for like little crits? Zedric? Oh. 
I I don't even know what to say. This just makes you OP. Right? This just makes you OP as fuck. Now you can do mixed sets. This pretty much replaces the black garb. Wait, no, no, no. This replaces the wizard bl bracelet. Or you swap this with black garb? Boost HP, but decrease MP, magic, and spirit. Oh. Oh, it does. But at this point, we have stopped expending AP. We would need to find something that gets rid of that. And that's this. I just found it. Laurel crown. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. Conflict resolved, huh? Conflict definitely resolved. Well done. So, what what opens up now? Doors to the unknown? The toughest monsters? And these are all summoners. Or summon things. Magic plus 80, dude. This keeps fucking going. I don't need any more magic. I don't. I swear to God. I'm gonna keep Zensetsuken on here, because it'll just kill everything. Genji Glove. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you! That's insane! <sighs> wow! It's better than Brutal. It's literally better than Brutal. That's insane. No longer need Sniper Eyes. It just takes both. So now, fucking what? I take off Status Ward, I take off Health Undaga, I don't need those anymore, I put on Ribbon. Right? Or I just max out even more attack. Yeah, I just put on Ribbon. Screw it. Can now sell the sniper eyes, yeah. I'll go with uh, this one. I'll go with physical. Heads up! Oh no, you don't! This'll do. Take that! How about this? Oh no! Oh dear! No, we're still. We're gonna definitely need. His life is massive. Oh shit! Boy, howdy, do you have a lot of life. Zapping, zapping, zapping. Activating combat mode. Heads up. How about this? Taking you down a peg. Here we go. Here we go. 
Heads up! Taking you down a peg! Heads up! This'll do! There we go. There we go. Got it. I'm assuming SP Master gives me more SP, um, just in general. Increases attack, impact, and defense by expending SP? Ooh, no, definitely not. Final one from Mission 9. The Divine Slayer? What the fuck? What are we looking at here? Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think this is the big bad final boss. Activating combat Bye now. Heads up. Ah! Yeah, this is the, uh, we're not ready. 77 million life? Okay, okay. I did not know. I did not know. I was like, oh, Jesus, we'll just take this out. No problem. Um, somebody was saying there's a mission in here that gives me some crazy good drain thing. Which one was it, Chad? Was it, was it a 6-5? Where's the one where we got to fight the, the Tonberries that we can steal shit from, Chad? Which one is that? 9-5-6? Sell this shit. Smooth 800,000 gil. No problem. Got it in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna buy my Genji helm now. Dope. Still got 126,000 left over. No problem. Um, so, Genji Helm does what? No spending MP or AP and adds Libra. I should probably save it. So it's just a better version of the Laurel Crown, and it's a better version of the Soul of Thamasa. I obviously need to buff out my HP more the only thing that's after this that i that even poses a challenge is a boss that has 77 million life and you have to spend 40 hours grinding to get there and that's just bad balance right we literally had our last stream playing this game where i was having some struggle against certain characters i was like i was like struggling and i was like man okay we need to learn how to do some damage i'm not kidding you within 45 minutes I was maxing out the damage of the game. Within 45 minutes, suddenly it was just like, oh, we're just destroying everything. I was like level 40 or some shit. Destroying everything. I got dual cast. I got like, what's that one spell? I got dual cast. I got electrocute. I started murdering shit. And I was like, damn. Okay, it's getting a bit easier. And then I kept getting thing after thing after thing after thing that made me more godlike and more godlike. By the end of the night, I had literally done everything in the game that was challenging. And the only thing left was a boss that has like 77 million life. And it's like, wow, okay. It's kind of like imbalanced. It, it kind of is an issue. From what I understand, it's the same thing in the old game. It kind of is an issue. Like you just become, you're kind of a guy figuring out how to use his materia to becoming an absolute fucking god. Like, Zack should be the final boss of every Final Fantasy game. He's so fucking... The, the combination of what this shit can do is so busted. You're so fucking broken. Like, it, it, you... How does he die in the... Granted, spoiler. How does he suffer the fate that he does in the end? I don't know. He's such a god. Anyway. Anyway, um, I've learned that because in the OG Crisis Core games, I never did this stuff. I never did this stuff. It wasn't, it wasn't important. 
But now at least the combat is fun enough where I want to fight more enemies and fight harder enemies and discover these enemies. I just don't think I'm ready to drop another like 10-ish to 20-ish to whatever, like 40 total hours into the game in order to, to beat an Omega boss that is just there because of grinding. Like that's it. I don't think I'm like, I just don't know if I want to do that. Um, anyway, and I have actually played this game off stream a bit. I did do some side missions off screen for like a few hours and I had fun. I, I did, I did enjoy it. The nice part I can say about the game is that these missions were completely skippable in the PSP version. You did not need, you did not need to do them. And now that the core systems of the game have changed to a way where they're enjoyable, it made me want to do them. It made me want to go out and find the next item and get more buff and get more buff and get more buff. 999 doesn't take 40 hours though. No, no, we got, we got, uh, uh, 99999 at about 20 hours of playtime where I'm just doing max damage to everything. 20 hours of playtime is what that took. Are the missions fun? Um, or is it just electrocute spam? And that's what I realized. The problem is at the higher level stuff, when things do get more challenging, you're just spamming one thing. That's it. You have to go out of your way to use other things. Because things kill you in one hit or you just destroy them. Uh, there's there's kind of an imbalance of how materia is used where you are doing godlike damage, but then, you know, if you get hit once, you're essentially fucking toast. So you just have to do the same thing over and over again for a while. Deathblade all these enemies do a billion damage. Electrocute all these enemies do a billion damage. It's either one shot or be one shot. And you spend a, we spent like three hours doing that. And I got crazy good gear as a result, but I specifically liked it that I was like level 40 when we started that shit, right? I was like level 40. And I liked that it was challenging. I did. I liked the fact that it was like, oh, so I got to figure out how to take out both these enemies at the same time. All right, let's figure this shit out. And there were some genuinely great, really challenging fights uh, the last stream we did this. And then I became a god. And very few things were challenging from that point forward. Um, and it was like, oh, now I just do this. And now now it's like, if the game is challenging, this is essentially zap, 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 spin, 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 jump, jump, jump. Now this is the answer to everything. It's like, hmm. Now this is the answer to everything. Oh, really? Okay. Now that you get a real challenge, you're playing on normal? Um, no, what's... What's, what's the difference between me and fighting Minerva on hard? What's the difference now? The only way to beat Minerva, I looked up all the, all the guides on it and the only ways you can beat her because she has such an absorb, a, a huge amount of life, right? I need to, I need to put in like 10 more hours of grinding at least if I'm smart. I need to have like two to three more streams of me just grinding, just getting my HP maxed out, just getting my stats maxed out. It's, it's just patience. I just have to have the time to do it. If, yeah, and then I might need to grind some more shit. That's it. That's the only difference. It's not that I can, like, come up with a strategy to beat Minerva right now. No, I can't. From what I, everybody that's played it says this, this boss just fucking sucks. You just have to play, you just have to put, like, 60 hours into the fucking game. It's designed that way. It is. It's designed that way. There is no other enemies. There is no other enemies in the game that are challenging. At least not in the story, right? That's it. We, we fought the hardest stuff. And that is kind of a problem. It, it, it does kind of suck. It's interesting that they made Minerva that hard, right? It's interesting. But I'm just going to fight her on normal and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. And if I fight her on normal and she whoops my ass, maybe that'll inspire me to, to, to keep playing and maybe get more stuff. But knowing that hard mode is that much of a grind and you just have to have everything maxed out. They made her a sponge, yes. They made her, they made her a sponge that kills you almost immediately. So... Anyway, what I want to do right now is this. And I'm just going to go fight her and see what happens. I just want to see what happens. So let me see. If I go here, click it. And it's probably still going to be really hard, right? Everything on hard mode was pretty hard. This is probably not going to be easy. But I just want to see what it's like. I don't want to not fight the fight. I just don't want to play for that many more hours. It's still hard from what I understand, yeah. My health might be still too low. So I just want to try it. At 
Activating combat mode. Oh dear. Okay, I saw her health move. I saw her health move. I'm gonna stick with the uh, the melee one. I'm sticking with the melee one. Can you get over here? That was guarded and it did 66k. That was guarded. Activating combat mode. Here we go. Taking you down a peg. There's aerial drain over there. All right. I want to. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not ready to give up. I'm not ready to give up. I appreciate the challenge. Let's try uh, this one. I'm assuming gravity just won't work. Jesus. Okay. All right. Activating combat mode. Need max vit and spirit not to get one shotted. Oh my god! And she resists uh, lightning. Okay. She resists lightning. So max vit and max spirit. That of which I don't have, and I don't have max vit either. What things go down here that max out, uh, vet? Uh, the right one, right? Yeah. Let's try it. Activating combat mode. Where are you? Wow. Here we go. Okay. Is this the end? This'll do. Oh, I can see all our life. Here we go. You're in for it now. Well, Octa Slash knock her out of this shit. I'm feeling it. Not enough damage. Oh dear. I'm gonna live. Why are we in space? Hey, all my MP and AP. Oh. Oh, so there we go, right? So there is the stopping point. That essentially goes through Phoenix Downs. Negates them. So the only way we can get her out of that is just to take her, just to, to, to knock her out of it. It's essentially a DPS check, right? You have to gill toss her limit break. If you have a uh, hundred K HP, you can survive it uh, at 75%. I see. So it does like 75 K damage. Okay. All right. So there, there's our stopping point. Yeah. If, if the fight didn't have a crazy gimmick, then I, I feel like we would have been fine. Right? The mug method, just w using jump to avoid the attacks, that would have been fine. It would have taken a while, but it was obvious that there was a path to victory there. But now it's like, oh, she has a move that stops everything, removes everything, and you're essentially fucked. Yeah, I just need to, I, I either just need to survive her uh, bullshit, or that's it. Actually, that's it. I got the regular fight. If I steal the Phoenix Downs, I got the regular fight. Like, it's pretty clear what you need to do. She doesn't seem like she's doing anything else. I just need the life to survive the, the fight itself. I did. I'm guessing Adam and Bangle chat is attached to um the body piece, right? I guess Adam and Bangle is on like the Genji body piece, which is the DMW maxing outing bullshit. Yeah, it is. Alright, then fuck it. Um, I think we're good. Right? I think this will take her out.
Yeah, yeah, I've seen it before. Doink. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, um. Where was my jump? There. Doink. Okay. Give it up, dude. <laughs> I think I need the glove, right? I think I'm going to actually have to have the glove. I just got to wait this shit out. Okay. Okay. I'll just take a mog. Nothing more to do. How about this? This'll do. I'll take the trade. Almost at 40. Gained a level. Big shit. Okay. Oh god. This'll do. Take that. Here we go. This'll do. Try now. Oh, is that gonna trade? Oh my god, it didn't. Oh, oh, did I have null something on? I don't know. Pop the PD. That was very, very, very fast. I'm almost unable to pop PD at the start anymore. Nice healing. Thor's hammer! Pop the PD, gotta remind myself every time. I took it. I went for it. How about this? This'll do. Seventy five percent, boys. Here we go. Yes. She fucking ran at me, bro. She ran at me. I couldn't even get up and use an item fast enough. She cooked it towards me. Oh my God. Well, that is some bullshit. Okay. So I can survive the attack. It's actually not that bad, right? It does like 60K damage, but she bum rushes you. You actually need to run the fuck away. Or jump, right? Maybe something. Yeah, the fight isn't bad. It's just it's just a war of attrition type shit. Heads up. Hot, hot. Genesis, are you about to fuck up everything? Again. Genesis is really out here fucking up everything. Here we go. 
Why'd you jump back, Zach? Dead. Fuck. Okay. Luckily, she's not in an attack pattern already. Means I get this off. Goddamn DMW. That's bad. Okay, 38. I'm gonna use Healing Wave here. Fine. Jesus! Genesis fucking everything up as always! Just making the game worse every single way it possibly can. My god, dude, will you give me a fucking break? Heads up. Bye now. Taking you down a bit. Brace yourself. I used it. Prove your honor to me. Better run for it. Jesus. Yeah, Gact is literally trying to stop me from beating her. Makes sense, right? Seventy five percent. Okay, that was the third attack. That's actually good. That means I can I can uh, absolutely wake up and just use this PD without fear of getting absolutely fucked. Nice. Okay, here's two. Okay, you only get one there now. You only get one. Now this is this is risky. And I just got Angeal, boy. Angeal, thank you. Jesus, I'm trying to re react to shit here. Nice jump back. This is dangerous. I'm going for lucky stars. Or I guess I'm going for fucking Cloud. This is three attacks I have to dodge, so I'm not I'm not doing it. So now we mash PD here, which is which should be free. Okay, big attack here. Oh, she did four. All right, all right, all right, all right. She's in less than 10%, she does four. That means I should get PD here. I'm gonna find out. I get it. Nice. 
Is the fourth? Oh, so I don't know. I don't know if she has one more attack built up. I don't know. I'm just going to be prepped on Ariel. She didn't. Here we go. Okay, that was that was the last attack sequence. That was four, so that means I can get up in PD. I'm gonna be careful, just in case. Good. Heads up. Here we go. Two flares, huh? Taking you down a peg. Try now. Take that. Taking you down a peg. Dead. Let's go! Let's go! Doing this shit my way, not the grind way! My way! Oh, Jesus. Now that was a boss fight, that's all right. That's good that, that we made that challenging. Level 50 something? Christ, so that's the normal one. Jesus, dude. Then that's the normal one, chat. Good God, my God! What game are we even playing? Hi! What did we get? The Divine Slayer? What the hell's a Divine Slayer? Boosts all status parameters, it breaks attack, HP MP limits, adds Libra, sucks your nuts, sucks your ass, kisses your nose, tucks you in at night, makes you a, make, get, bought you some chicken tendies, you know? Also, you know, gave you a wonderful report, doctor's health report. You're feeling great. Gerard, what's up? I'm not doing the hard mode of that shit. That's fucking stupid. That shit is stupid. Uh, good on you for going through it. Because Christ, man. Just sit there and costly punch all day long. That's all you need to... I'm sorry, uh, guilt toss. I saw your video. Just guilt toss her for like 30 minutes. Oh, good. Um, anyway, what do we even get now? Uh, so this, re this, this replaces, uh, HP break, right? No, this is attack break. Is it also HP, MP, and AP limits? So we don't need this. It pretty much replaces Genji Helm. And Adam and Bangle. Right? So, don't need Admin Bangle. Uh, and we don't need the Genji Helm. No, no, no we do need the Genji Helm. Because it's stop expending, not break the limits. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Cool. We did it! A fucking boss! Jesus! The fuck, man? My boss killer uh, loadout. Let's change back to hard mode immediately. Actually, that's also before I change back the hard mode. Let's actually let's do the hard mode thing first. Please don't crash game. Okay. Is it considered a boss rage? No, because we didn't do it on the hardest difficulty. We didn't. I would not. It's definitely an interesting, difficult fight, but I would not consider it a boss rage. It's hard. It's absolutely hard, but the gimmick between behind boss rage is that we we do the thing on like the hardest difficulty, you know? And we didn't. I just don't want to. It just is too much shit. Um, yeah, I got an email from Kunsel. Uh Let's 
Someone apparently took care of this thing that's been on the back burner forever. All the big wigs and everyone in Soldier are freaking out that it's the return of the Soldier Legend. The source of the problem was apparently more powerful than a summon. Its materia reaction was so beyond measure, the gauge started to smoke. In fact, the materia power was so intense that other monsters and even robots became overloaded with Mako and started going berserk. Anyway, I was thinking, this Soldier Legend, could they be talking about you? <laughs> Are they talking about you? Is it you, Zach? <laughs> Move to spam. Um, all right. What is, what the fuck is this email from Yuffie? Don't come. I don't like this email. Get the shit out of here. Uh... My God, Genesis fan club bullshit. Have you been on this time, Zach? I was worried about you. Please tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. In fact, let's, let's put on an act for everyone. If you let me catch you, it would score me a promotion for sure. Then my newfound authority, I might be able to spare your life. Please just tell me where you are. Everyone's concerned about me. Just as I thought, I heard two research samples have been escaped from Nibelheim. Might you be one of them, Zach? If you are, watch your back because there's a whole new battalion of inf infantrymen called in. They're coming after you in crazy numbers. What the hell did you do to deserve this? I don't care if they if you've made an en enemy out of Shinra. I'll always be waiting for you to come back. Just make it back alive, buddy. Promise me. Zach, where could you be? Let me know if you're reading this. This is like four years later, right? Uh, you've gone missing since Sephiroth. Did you have anything to do with Sephiroth being killed in action? I heard rumors about something going on in Nibelheim. Are you there now? Uh, they got announced for general affairs that you were killed. But those announcements are never true, are they? Where are you? What are you doing? What did you... What did you have to do for the company to reclassify yourself as a dead man? Let me help you if you're in a jam. Talk to me, I'll be waiting. Kunso's a bro. This is why the moment in 7 Remake when it's like, Dude, let me go tell Kunso. I was like... Fuck what? <laughs> Fucking what? That that was that that if for anybody that played Crisis Core like that name was immediately like the the guy <laughs> the the dude. Anyway, sad news in the Zach Found Club. Uh, we continued to running the fan club after Zach's death, but we had to disband due to financial reasons. We'd like to share one last comment from Black Suit, the secret informant who shared us with us so much. It was very sudden for us, but I'm sure Zach now has the wings he always wanted, flying the big, the great big skies with that great big sunflower smile. Thanks to all our 51,000 plus members out there. May Zach live within our hearts. Damn, Zach got a big ass Twitter following. Shit. Um. Anyway, those are the big ones. Uh, Angeal sightings keep pouring in, but the previous port of Angeal near the church turned out to be a large animal with a pattern on its head that looked like Angeal. The woman in the church can tell us she is looking after the creature, which seems to have settled. Our latest credible source tells us that Angeal was attacked by a pack of wild dogs. Perhaps he is very weak, but not at death's door. Then again, it could be an entirely different person. Stay tuned. That's weird. All right! Christ! Run up here! Fuck! Yeah, Kunso was mentioned in the Seven Remake. Behind you, so predictable. Couldn't you guess your hometown would be the first place we'd look? Hmm. I forgot this game has a story. Here to see your parents? Yeah. So, what's wrong with that? Zach's been grinding missions, trying to escape reality. I see. Yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It was pretty careless. We'll be going. Be careful. Security is very tight. I right think Cisne will be in rebirth. Apparently, another target is in the area. Who? Angeal. I see. I see. He died by your hand. You're not surprised. I think he may have helped us. Escape Shinra Manor. Interesting. The sighting reports were true. But why would he come to a place like Gungaga? He came here to see you. What other reason could there be? Run away if you can, Angeal. The Turks are watching. 
I'll give you ten minutes. After that, I return to the Turks. Return? This music is so inappropriate. I'm not in the mood. I can't bring bad news to your parents. My only problem with some of the cutscenes in this game is that the music is, like, hilarious. They just play the, some background theme. How is she? She's worried. She thinks after all this, girlfriend is worried about you. <laughs> she What's doesn't think that? you're gonna nice make people. it. And they're doing fine. Good. My hair's all, all fucked up to today, know. chat. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. How's your folks? I was raised inside Chinra. Uh, uh. Hey, Sisne. Would you mind keeping my folks company for a while? All right. No problem. They'll probably ask you to join the family. Already happened. What, what did you say? Cisne! Not my real name. What? You have five minutes left. I never do find out what Cisne's name is. Angel, it is do we? you. Hey, wait! We never do. I wonder if her, the reveal of who she is is something that happens in the actual... Is it um, Angel? Wonder if it, the reveal of who... Yeah, Elena or something, maybe? Remind me, who was Elena again? That wasn't... Ooh, new shop. Um, Elena in OG7 is... She's like the blonde oh, yeah. newbie. Yeah, that's right. She's like the younger, uh, she's like the younger one that isn't like corrupted by Shinra yet. Activating combat mode. If, that would actually be, and she doesn't act that much different than Cisne, in all honesty. Oh yeah. Huh. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they might do something with that. Elena was also in Advent Children. She was, yeah. At the beginning. This the chest. That doesn't really matter. These chests suck. They're not good. Cisne is Sid, yeah. Hey, wait! Is that Lazard? I hate to break it to you guys, but you're about to get fucked up. I don't think the re the regular game is ready for me. <laughs> I've been through some shit. Don't worry, Zach. We got this under control. His cells are completely useless. You are a former member of Soldier. Your cellular structure has already mutated. Hollander, you did it to yourself? Yes. After nearly being killed <laughs> by Genesis. Sorry. It was really all I could do to survive. I merely borrowed some cells from Genesis. You know you're degrading. Indeed. But there is still... So got a shitty little dinky wing.
The gift of the goddess. A pure S cell sample will stop the degradation process. Pure? There are two of you on the run. Uh, no. One is a former soldier operative, the other an infantryman. That infantryman carries within his body the last pure S cells in the world. Oh, I forgot about this. Do you know the verse in Act 4 that leads oh, to the final act? Of course not. Legend shall speak of sacrifice. I don't know and I don't want to hear it. World's end. The wind sails over the water's surface quietly, but surely. Enough about sacrifices and endings. I don't want to hear it. Please shut People the fuck understand up. understand the beauty of these words. How tragic. I'm not surprised. Even I didn't understand all of it. The greatest mystery behind the gift of the goddess? The water's surface. And the answer I have arrived at is the life stream. What? There are various things <laughs> regarding the missing final act. However, only my theory is correct, and I will prove it to you. No, that won't be necessary. Ah! Uh. Zach just suddenly you decided to dolphin dive at his ass? Cloud's in danger. Back to the reactor. Gotta move quick. Okay. What the hell am I looking at? I can activate some combat modes. How close to the end are we? Pretty close. Does this mean Cloud doesn't degrade? Um, possibly, yeah. I think that's what they're hinting at. He's got Sephiroth cells in him, right? Which is what makes him, uh, a buff dickhead. An Advent Children shows you he degrades. No, 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 no. What he's dying of in Advent Children is a virus. He's, he's dying from a virus that showed up after um, you take out Sephiroth slash Genova and FF7OG. Uh, that's Geostigma. That is different. That's something that doesn't exist until after FF7. Does Zack degrade? Probably. Yeah, he would. Over time. But Zack is relatively a new soldier, right? Cloud, watch out! Yeah, Geostigma came from Meteor slash Genova. Ow, Jesus! The choreography in this fight scene. You. Oh, Zack doesn't degrade? Oh, because of the experiments they did on him. Uh, and Nabel. The Nabel. In this, this action scene, though. Which monster are you going to turn into that I have to hit twice and then it dies? Activating combat mode. Here we go. Bye now. Taking you down and break that. Bye now. Bye, Hollander. I'm only like level 50 something. I'm not even like max level, chat. It's just that you become such a, a an unbeatable god with materia in this it's game. Been a long time, and gear. Zach. <laughs> so, what happened? That thing wasn't so tough. 
I can't fight like a first. I'm just an angel copy. Copy? Why does it look like he's wearing Lazard's gear? It's Lazard. There we go. What to say? So, you're the one who helped Hollander out of Junon? Why would you do such a thing? To exact my revenge. I needed Hollander. Welcome back to the you really chose the wrong thing. Tickle me Homo X. Terrible you? name. Thank you. I agree. I never dreamed I'd be turned into an Angeal copy. Well, just be happy you're linked to Project G. It's a strange feeling. To the, stage hmm? of history. the lust for vengeance that had so consumed my life is all but gone now. In its place Welcome back is a desire to help you. History. A desire to save Genesis. No. It's bigger than that. I... I want to save the world. You do, huh? Nothing strange about that. <laughs> Angeal lives inside you. Genesis is trying to obtain the gift of the goddess. But what is it exactly? Nobody fucking knows still to this day. Whatever it is, he must be stopped. I just don't understand what he's talking about at all. What should I do? Angeal may show us the way. Perhaps. Maybe. I hope so. It's the Divine Slayer, yeah. Director. So, Zach, what is your dream? Huh? <sighs> oh. Let's see. To become a hero. Huh. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Oh, come on. Lend me a hand. You and Angeal both. If we pull this off, we'll all be heroes. At the very least, I feel like one. So, Zack, where is Genesis? <gasps> I see. I'm back. I just woke up. It became an apple. Dumb apples only grow in Benora. Why is that? Something to do with the soil here, apparently. Genesis always carried a dumb apple with him. I should have realized sooner. It looks so different now. Can I leave Cloud with you? Yes. What? Those live stream shit. Yeah, I think this place will... I think this place will actually be accessible in Rebirth. Don't worry about Cloud. It's weird that, you know, it's nowhere to be found from the OG game. What? I don't remember what happens to Benora after this. 
I have no memory. Was this here before? Did they really turn it into Medeal? I thought it was closer to Gongaga. It's near to Medeal, so it's on like an island? It's on all those like southern islands? But Motherfucker, we drove matches. here. <laughs> First prize I think it is closer to Gongaga. National Bitch, we drove here on a bike. Oh. Wow. The idea Medeal's like down there. Came from a Benora youth named Genesis. Wow. Just wow. Young Genesis's comments. I am very honored. Benora white juice tastes great, but the fruit itself is tasty too. My dream is for my parents and I to serve the hero Sephiroth our apples one day. <laughs> Genesis. He made that purple drink. He created purple drink. Is there anything I can do? Let's just do 9,000, 99,999 damage to him. A lot. Over and over again. This place looks way better. Fucking what? Light materia? What? Oh, it was a key item. I was about to say it is a key item. Yeah. It says Benora's on Medeal Island. Well, there you go. We somehow drove a bike across the ocean. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss. Her gift everlasting. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. This is definitely for, like, solving a puzzle or some shit. Oh. There he is. Emerald weapon literally stuck in all that stalactite, right? All those crystals and shit. The weirdest part is that emerald weapon is here, but it is essentially r removed? Like it drops into the ocean? After this? Literally hanging out. That was in the OG one, was it not? Remember that from like way back in the day. Yeah, that was there in the OG one. Yeah. Actually, I'm curious. I don't know. What well, leads to that getting to the bottom of the ocean? Maybe the island sunk? Good point. Whoa. Activating combat mode. Player. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not that it's new, it's that you can actually see it now, chat. 
uh, King Behemoth. <clears throat> I need a key. I need a key. I need a herb. What? This led to nowhere? What the shit? There's writing on the wall. I volunteered to be a test subject. Soldier conditioning was just not enough. I wanted... I needed to become stronger, but now look at me. Better than soldier? I'm weaker than a grunt. Give me my old self back. Weird. Oh, these actually open. Yeah, beating Rudy, Ruby and Remold, Emerald are really satisfying. They're like a couple of the fights in the game that really challenge you. If you want the feeling of like beating Ruby and Emerald throughout almost the whole game, like scaled through, uh, you should play Final Fantasy VII A New Threat. I'd imagine it's even better now. FF7 A New Threat is like that where they make you really have to think about materia combinations and all this shit. You really got to consider stuff. And then there's also super bosses that, you know, are proper crazy. It's a, yeah, it's a very satisfying game. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a mod. It's practically a, a brand new game, though. Was I able to beat Ruby without a guide? Uh, yeah. I mean, you essentially get, you know, a couple, enough of materia combinations, you know what to do. I think I had the idea, um, from just experience of like, huh. My party members are all dying, right? Activating combat mode. Well, hi, Marlboro. Uh, my party members are all dying, and this it would like it would like kiss the ass of two party members randomly. So I was like, well, maybe if I go in with them dead and then revive them, maybe that'll work. I remember coming up with that fucking strategy? So much fun, dude. Did I beat Absolute Virtue? No, that was after my time. Absolute Virtue had not been beaten before. Uh, I don't think Absolute Virtue had been beaten before I left FF11. That is what you do? Yeah. For, um. For Ruby Weapon in FF7? Yeah. You just go in with two party members dead, then use Phoenix Summon. Brings them back to life. Yeah, and then you use Hades because Hades casts stop. It's like the one status effect that Ruby is weak against is stop. Stole some shit from him. Let's realize I have mug on this class. Oh, Zach's proficiency with Buster Sword has improved, and now when it, when attacking or using an ability while in battle stance, a barrier piercing effect is activated. Did I just get a ten bonus? This allows Zach to ignore enemy barrier effects when dealing damage. Oh shit! I guess I did. Oh, I'm on the wrong class. Jesus. Neat. Uh, anything else in here? I think not. 
big empty PSP areas. You got that at 75%? That's random? Maybe they'll address Minerva in the remake games? No, because she was in this game. She was a part of this game, you know? Oh, I passed a goddamn chest? God damn it, I'll go back. Is Loveless like a bile? No, it's like Shakespeare. Oh, I think I need to go back now. There's more glowy shits over here. It's kind of hard to tell. Me there's like a oh geez there is I just said you tell me there's a chest in here and I just had to complain just a little bit It, 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 it. Is that it, 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 it? Now I see another glowy shit. Bye now. Damn. Straight death to that dude. Something's happening. I walk by the chest chat because I'm reading what you bitches have to say. Reading all your dumbass comments. The fuck was it? Say what the hell these things are. One of the goddess materia. Looks like I need a key. Activating combat mode. Here we go. But you don't do that. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. But you don't do that. Uh, 
Uh, let's go back down. I gotta go through that one area back at the start. Oh my god. These chests need to be a brighter color or some shit. Right? in there or anything. Why am I even opening this? Nice. Hey guys, I'm busy here. Can you go away? This place looks a lot different than I remember. Hey guys, how's it going? How about this? Taking you down a peg. Goddess throat key. Oh, yeah. Goddess throat key. God throat. It literally said goddess throat key. Sounds inappropriate. I never did this place because it's optional? Probably not. The key doesn't. So I gotta go in here. Well, big shit. all the rustle. I took the job because I heard they paid well. Little did I know they really sent me here to become a test sample. Yeah. Did you write that in your own blood? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we need to fight a rare spawn of movers to open the door. Okay, so I just gotta get into enemy encounters around here. them. The Complete resolved. Activating combat mode. How about this? Oh Complete yeah. Resolved. Was that it? I said to bitch a little. These guys are actually normally very hard to kill, unless you have darkness or like flare or some shit.
Or costly punish. Things that ignore defense, yeah. Minty Clover and Sync86. Thank you, everybody. Laboratory key. Okay. Oh, shit. What are we looking at now? Oh, my God. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? This is crazy. Too many rooms, bro. Bruh. Yeah, there was another door back there. I just went down here to see what the hell was in here. Activating combat mode. Jeezy crazy. Taking you down the Here we go. This place is huge! Was the Buster Sword attack? No. No, definitely. That's all new. This Buster Sword proficiency shit is all completely new. Well, 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 what do we have here? A research document. That samples have escaped. None of them have completed the transformation, so it's surmised that they will naturally perish. Search and retrieval is unnecessary. Activating combat mode. What the fuck? Here we go. Gonna love this. Take that. Taking you down a peg. Huh? How about this? That's enough. Huh? Heads up. Sample sighted at Subterranean Lake. They are incomplete samples. It is surmised, uh, surmised that they have been absorbed by the life stream. What lore is this referring to, chat? Oh, there's a box. An elixir, of course. Special. Dirge shit? Ugh. Ugh. Deep ground horse balls? Blech. Yeah, I mean, the humanoid guys we fought to get in here, I get that. Activating combat mode. Guys, time for your bullshit. Magic up. Uh, do I need to open up all these doors? I don't think I do. Right? Let's just pop out at the other end. No, it goes to some fucking weird place.
Yeah, I skipped this in the in the past. Like, I'm starting to understand why. Alright, it's number 23. There's gotta be something good in here. Gotta be something good in here, right? That is not good, man. It's the opposite of good. That is absolutely bad. Okay, let's just run up to... Uh-oh. Stop that. Jesus, whack. The key doesn't matter. Shit, I need to find another key for this weird thing. Uh, let's run down here. Hey, it works. Jesus. God damn, the death slash. This probably got something good, right? Another key? E e Activating combat mode. Whoa. This'll do. Try now. E Go to that other door. Beautiful. There's writing on. When I came to, I was in a cell. Why have I been in prison? What have I done? I have no idea what this is about. I haven't been framed. I haven't done anything. Get me out of here. There's a bunch of upstanding individuals. Hey, we've made it. <laughs> that was for soldier lore, yeah, right. I get to go whoop the shit out of this thing. Not even worried. I have very little concerns about my about my physical well-being. Got a swing key, okay. He's all tatted up. Lazy Vamp, thank you. Used a lot of brain power on that one. We're up here now. Marks, thank you. Oh, it took us back down here. Well, shit. Well, shit. I guess that the whole thing was to eventually fight that King Behemoth, right? Here, let's do this. Let's switch to, um... Our, uh, our other class, our dual cast class, and see how it goes. I got all this shit, man. Yeah, I, I picked up all these things, bro. Stick them in there. Yeah, yeah, we'll open the door, man. Come on. Your great reward item at the end of the maze is flare. Dude, I had, I just sold like six flares. Guess what? I have all of them. 
Thank you for making me not set each individual one the game. Thank you so much. This is just a normal looking dickhead. I've killed like 30 of you dudes. Activating combat mode. Uh. That sucks for you. Bye. Head to the light of doom for a showdown with Genesis. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll do, uh, I'll use magic against this guy. See how it goes. My soul. Corrupted by vengeance. Don't forget Mug. What do you get from with Mug? Hath endured torment. Something good? To find the end of the journey. In my own salvation. You're late. Loveless again. You have succeeded, Angel Spirit and carry a part of Sephiroth within you. Thus, the three friends are reunited once again. And Loveless is reenacted. No! Open your eyes, Genesis! No, Genesis! We have to stop this! There is no way! Genesis! We cannot do this anymore! Us! We cannot! I am here to help you! Descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us. We are acting with our hands like it is a stage performance! What is that? The gift of the goddess. A heavenly boon found only in Venora. I thought the cells were the gift. <laughs> there are various interpretations. I don't understand. <laughs> Nobody does, Zach. Don't to worry about it. The mystery is in itself a gift. We will all join the life stream. You are no exception. The planet has become my guardian. Whoa! Keep talking to me. Don't let it take over. That's exactly what he's You're doing. That's like what he wants. It's like his whole goal. Damn you! Scream louder, Zach. He can't hear you over all that power. This, this design seems so much of like a stretch away from what Genesis is, you know? Some big Final Fantasy X monster, you know? Yeah, it's suddenly it's Final Fantasy X. Activating combat mode. Ow. Hands up! Oh no, you don't! This'll do! Taking you down a peg. This'll do. Oops, wrong one. How about this? Take 
So much hits done. Let's do Hellfire, yeah. Why not? A little bit of damage. This'll do. This fight certainly looks a lot better than the PSP one, that's for sure. That was the last boss of the game, chat. Corrupted by vengeance. Hath endured torment to find the end of the journey. That's it, yes. In my own salvation. Wrong? Is it not? I don't remember. Eternal slumber. <gasps> Does this mean you knew? From the beginning, we'll come back to the stage of history. Stand and fight, soldier first class, Zack. Why is everyone always pushing things on me? Do you actually get a separate combo after the uh, the stance, sword stance? Look at this. Zip zip. Man, quit it. Just tank through this whole thing. Yeah, Zack is definitely the final boss now. You just do a few missions and Zack is the final boss. Oh, right. Because Minerva is actually part of the story. It's like an ancient or some shit, right? Completely forgot about this shit. Another character that looks like she came right out of Final Fantasy X. The personification of the live stream's will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rejected.
So how does he come back and dirge? It's unexplained, dude. It's completely unexplained and it will remain unexplained. Shinra attacked us. Save your strength. I got some help. From him. Over there. <laughs> yes, we get it. You're pointing. <laughs> it's you. Welcome back to the stage of history. Director! His crusty pants. Thank you. Okay, let's eat. Sorry I'm not the real thing, but... Is it good? <laughs> the fuck? Man! Of the goddess. <laughs> Legit made me jump. This apple? Is Angeal good? Am I eating Angeal? Claude's like, I'm just here for the ride. God, I had a girlfriend. That this final letter that I'm writing gets to you. By the way, the flowers are selling very well. I did too many missions. They make everyone so happy. Thanks to you, Zach. Aerith. Four years. Yeah, does he, he hasn't realized it's been that long, right? Still. Aerith. Wait for me. <sighs> You're gonna make it too. You got that? As I talk directly to your ass. <laughs> Could not have said that before you grabbed him, right? Before you, you had to pick him up first and then talk directly into his ass. <laughs> like, the, the blocking is so funny. <laughs> like, you just had to make one small change. Just deliver the line one second earlier and it will be less funny. This must be an important matter if they are sending the two of us. Apparently, the subject will become our brother. 
Accept his fate willingly. Uh, Weiss and Nero? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely Weiss, right? This ties into Dirge. Yeah, did the, were they not modeled in the old game? Was it no? Was there no way to tell? Even if the morrow is oh, barren God. of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. To become the dew that quenches the land, to spare the sands, the seas. The skies. I offer thee this silent sacrifice. See, now it doesn't end that he is like he nothing sure full stars return. No. He becomes the earth. He becomes one this with the dead. life stream. That's all right. That's the end. He's done. The army's mobilizing. He's done. The targets before they do. Understood. The army won't be as subtle. I want them alive. You hear me? You're going to save Zack's life. Of course. I haven't even told him my real name. Help them. Sisne. I have letters for Zack. 88 of them. It's a good thing there's no death flags, you know being waved right now like none at all I'm just kidding you know I wouldn't do that to you well oh, they read this whole scene We're they, they cut scenified this whole scene in a haystack this size there's no mission that's crazy how the old cg the actually looks kind of yeah, bad yeah. now huh. also sung apparently has something to give him who the target hmm. so we're couriers now delivering packages to fugitives huh <laughs> Boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Oh, 
I don't think we need to worry about it, Zach. I really don't. Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your honor. As soldier! Come and get it! Aerial jump! Activating combat mode. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this looks significantly better. Jesus, 22k? Oh, 22k? Oh, it's getting darker and darker. How brooding. Almost died. Just died again. Okay, they're actually putting up a fight. Emotional state I heightened. Jesus. Taking you down a bit. Later. These guys are worth quite a bit of SP, though. Holy moly. Missile did 57k damage, dude. This is great. This is, this is way better than before. I was doing okay though, but I'm doing okay though. Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh, it's the fucker with the red scarf. I just realized it's the guy with the red scarf. And he ultimately dies the same way that he did in the OG game, which is just by a couple of guys.
That's right. But Wanna hear? Not scary at stuff. all. Will I see you again? I'll be here. Here comes the PTSD. My honor, my dreams. They're yours now. Embrace your dreams. 
if you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams. Thank you. I won't forget. Good night. That girl, she said that the sky frightened her. But it must feel so good up there. Those wings, I want them too. And we have the box. Do not open until the credits roll. There's going to be a trailer for Rebirth in here. I swear. One second. Here, wait. Okay, here we go. This is now the road to Rebirth. Here we go. What's in here? What's in the box? What's in the box? I want to rip it, man. Until the credits roll. Until end credits roll. So we're supposed to read it right now. No, 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 no. Am I supposed to not? No, I'm supposed to open this now. Until the end credits roll. Don't talk to me about the semantics of what this says. It doesn't say till after the end credits. Until the end credits roll. It says in... Oh! <laughs> is this what I think it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> thank you square enix oh man <laughs> this is hilarious oh my god this this is hilarious wow it's a oh. <gasps> oh, thank you square i needed that <laughs> Wow, got me good. I did not know this was going to be in there. Got me. I asked Je Jessica, and Jessica's like, I know it's in there. I'm like, 
Oh, I don't know what's in there. Should, should you? Well, just tell me what's in there. She's like, I'm not going to tell you. I'm like, is it good? Is it something interesting? She's like, you'll like it. <laughs> All right. That's amazing. <laughs> That's actually kind of amazing. It's a bib for... Yeah. What were they expecting, huh? They're expecting me to be eating spicy wings? My crisis core bib? Is that it? We're gonna go. We're gonna go to uh, Wingstop. What? Eat my Benora apples. Anyway, that was fun. That was fun. Did I get blood on this or something? <laughs> that was fun. I had fun. This game is a lot better than it used to be. You know. It's actually a video game that you can play instead of just a video game that has a story that's kind of interesting and gives Zack a character. It's actually a video game that you can play now and is kind of enjoyable, you know? Oh, don't worry. I know about the end credit scene. Don't worry. That end credit scene essentially set up for a ton of stuff back in the duh. My lip is bleeding? Maybe. Could be. Yeah, there is there is an end there is an end credits cutscene. A final end credits cutscene. Ugh, this thing is massive, dude. My god, dude, what the hell? We're keeping everything inside this box preserved. For future generations. Well, that got me good, right? They got me good on that one. I was not expecting it to be a, uh, a handkerchief to cry into. That's actually pretty goddamn hilarious. Oh, jeez, dude. It was fun. They actually made Crisis for an enjoyable video game to play. You know? And that's like, that's a, that's a feat, right? That's definitely a, a, a feat. Like this, this game was not fun to play, man. And they actually, they actually gave it some fun stuff to do. Activating combat mode. That didn't really bug me. I, 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 I tuned it out after a while. I do really wish. Did my review of the game change a lot now? Uh, this game's an eight, in my opinion. This game's an eight. It's like, I give it critically what everybody has given it critically. It's about an eight out of 10. Um, but here's the thing. OG Crisis Core, I think has honestly gone down to a six. Because we played PSP Crisis Core um, before 7 Remake came out, right? So it wasn't that long ago. It was like nearly three years ago we played it. Dude, OG Crisis Core is like a 6 out of 10 kind of game because of how rough the gameplay is. Um, and this one fixes a lot of the gameplay problems. The only redeemable part of OG Crisis Core is the is, is Zack. It's the only redeemable part. A story doesn't make a good game. A story just gives a, a game a good story, right? Or some characters, some good characters. And that was essentially all that shit had. Uh, in the old game. That was like it. So, now they bump it, but here's the funny thing. Back in the day, when the PSP version of Crisis Core came out, I, I gave it an eight. I think that's like, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's got a really interesting narrative. It really sets up for FF7. It's really good. It was like an eight out of 10 to me, but as time has gone by, it's gone down to a six. Now, what this essentially does is elevate the game back to being an eight. It elevates the game back to what it was when it came out in like 2008 or some shit, you know? So, and that's it's good. It's fine. It's fine. It definitely needed the voice direction of Seven Remake. It definitely needed the localization of Seven Remake. It really did. I still don't agree with that, man. These characters could be so much more interesting, but that's a lot of work, right? 
Asking Nojima to rewrite all these characters for the modern day is expensive. <laughs> and he's probably way too busy with, you know, other Final Fantasy titles, including Seven Rebirth and whatever the hell's coming next. So, Nojima was responsible for writing this game back when it came out. He also wrote the OG Sevens. He also wrote fucking Dirge of Cerberus. Um, and, but he also, he, he, he's clearly a, a, a dude with writing peaks and valleys in terms of like character narrative, right? Peaks and valleys, because he also did Seven Remake. And my God, man, the remake is amazing. Characterization the remake is amazing. So anyway. Yeah, and that's essentially it. It wasn't worth his effort when other larger projects needed to get done. So what did they do? They Shenmued it. Keep it the same. Keep the voice acting just as weird as it used to be. You know? Yeah, you know, that's fine. I see why they would do that. I see why they would do that. Nomura's not a writer for any of this shit. People, I mean, you're, you're, you're one of the... I, I'm, not, I'm not a defender of Tetsuya Nomura and his weird-ass Kingdom Hearts in. But people just assume that since Nomura wrote the weird ass shit in Kingdom Hearts that he's responsible for everything else, you're a weirdo. You're the weirdo. He he pretty much wrote weird Kingdom Hearts shit. Nojima's the guy the, the that comes up with most of this stuff. All this stuff that people blame Nomura for. He's a creative director, right? I mean, he's involved in everything. He's involved. But that's like saying Ed Boon made the, fat the fatalities in Mortal Kombat. I don't like any of the Kingdom Hearts games, but I'm, I'm not about to blame Nomura for this stuff. He made the game himself. What? Oh, they redid this whole last scene? What? It's different! Wow. It's a little different. A little. My name is Cloud. Soldier. First class. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. You liar. <laughs> you liar.